good morning everyone. We are going to do the experiment number four, which is compression test of concrete hollow block and four inches and six inches. I am here with Kurt, Algy, uh, Kizaya, yours truly, and Vince, and we are group number one. So for the materials, um, so for the materials, we are going to use the uh, two kinds of concrete hollow blocks. One is the um, four inches, and the other one is a six inches hollow block. So for the equipment? So for the equipment, we use the burner caliper and the compression testing machine. And we're going to use also a uh, steel meter stick at the way it's good. And for the procedure, the first thing that we did is we chose the concrete hollow block one for 4 inches and the other one is 6 inches. And after that, we measured its dimensions per hollow block. We got the length, width, and height and inner and outer per hollow block. And after getting the dimensions, we use the weighing scale to get its weight. And after getting its weight, we... And lastly, the last step, we use the compression testing machine to get its force. And let's start the experiment. First, we'll get four inches, one four inches complete hollow block and one six inches complete hollow block. For the next step, we are going to measure the dimensions for this hollow block. Um, we are going to measure the six inches hollow blocks and hollow block, and the other is the four inches hollow block. So now I'm going to measure the dimensions of the four inches concrete hollow block. First, I'm going to measure the width. Next is the length. And lastly, the height. I am going to measure the outer dimension of a four inch of using the steel and the vertical height. To measure the length, use the burn stick. Okay, the height. And finally the width. So right now I am going to measure the six um, the dimensions of the six centimeter uh, six inches First I am going to get the inner width. Next is is um So we are also going to measure the dimensions of the 6 inches concrete hollow block using a radio caliper and a steel meter stick. So first we are going to measure its width using a radio caliper and this is how to measure its width. We are measuring the outer uh, dimensions of this hollow block. So this is its width. And to measure its height, we are also going to use a vernier caliper. So this is how to measure its height. And last one would be to measure the length of the outer part of the uh, hollow block. It's six inches, and we are going to use this steel meter stick.
Yeah. We're going to put these two concrete hull box to the weighing scale and measure its weight. Go! I'm going to measure the weight of this 4 inches concrete hollow block. So right now I am going to weigh this 6 inches concrete hollow block. We're going to put this complete hollow block into the compression testing machine right now. So let's go. We're going to do the compression test using the compression testing machine. After the test, make sure you get up to So hello for the results of the entire experiment. For the complete hollow block, which is 4 inches, its outer width is 87 mm, its outer height is 181 mm, and its outer length is 39 cm. So for the inner, inner width, it is 57.15 mm, inner height is 18.2 cm, and for the inner length, it's 87 millimeters. Now, for the 6 inches, its outer width is 149.15 millimeters, outer height is 189 millimeters, and outter length, which is 39.8 centimeters. And so, um, for its inner width, it is measured as 90.25 millimeter. Its inner height is 18.6 cm and its inner, le inner length is 90.15 mm. So, for its weight, for the 4 inches, it weighs 6.10 kg <coughs> and then for the other one, which is the 6 inches, it weighs uh, at 9.82 kg. Then, after putting them into the compression test, um, the force for the 4 inches is 7.7 um, kN and then for the 6 inches, 32.7 kN. So that would be all. After the experiment, these are the recorded dimensions of each concrete hollow block. In solving for the compressive strength, we first solve for its cross-sectional area since you only need its gross area we use its outer length and width for each concrete hollow block. And after getting the area, we then solve for its compressive strength, which is force over area or its maximum compression load over area. Since the standard strength requirement from ASTM C129-22 is 3.45 MPa, and the results from our experiment only got a compressive strength value of 0.2063, megapascal for the 4 inches concrete hollow block and 0 0.5579 megapascal for the 6 inches concrete hollow block. Thereby, 
the concrete hollow blocks from the experiment did not meet the standard.